Long, long ago, there was a great thief. He lived in a land where the light did not shine, where all suffered in the darkness. People call me? Sorry, Kaya. Directly into the microphone, please. Otherwise your voice will, you know. Okay. <clears throat> they call me the Dagger Bandit, but no one sees that I rob the rich and give to the poor. Here in the dark, evildoers run rampant in the shadows, while the good, honest folk stumble blindly on, just trying to find a way through. As the bandit brooded, suddenly the world was inexplicably changed as a single star appeared on the horizon and flew across the sky. Traveler, stomp on that movement mechanism in front of you. Light. A brief flash, yet enough to illuminate the world. If I can find the source of that light, I can shine it into the darkness, and the people will suffer in blindness no longer. Without a moment to spare, he set off to follow the star's course. All the while, the star kept moving through the sky. Um, Traveler, the star kept moving through the sky. Looks like I have to go through the desert. This could get dangerous. If everything he'd heard was to be believed, the desert ahead was a no-man's land filled with horrors. Worse still, the star had landed in the most difficult-to-reach location, surrounded by sheer cliffs. But he was determined to press onward. I've come this far, and I'm not about to turn back now. The Dagger Bandit trekked deep into the desert wasteland. Yet when he finally arrived at his destination, he found not a fallen star, but a young girl, dressed in white. How strange. I'm positive this is where the star landed. Young lady, do you know where the light has gone? The girl replied, Traveler from afar, the light you seek is only a bottled flame. But the flame has now died, and its light is long gone. A uh, bottled flame? Yes, it was a gift from another. And so, the girl began to tell the story of how the bottle came into her possession. 